Our top news this week. Tiffin will be bringing their expertise in cinema class filters to the ID Signature Prime lenses. The company recently announced that their Tiffin magnetic rear filters have been tested and approved by ID on the Signature Primes. This is great news for DOPs as it will provide greater creative look options by bringing the familiar look of glimmer glass, promised fog, black satin and many other diffusion and creative filters to the ID Signature Primes. One of the benefits of using rear magnetic filters, apart from the quick and easy insertion and removal, is the ability to use a single strength filter for the full range of lenses, regardless of how wide or long you go. This is both a time saver and also a more optimized way of working with filters on set. Sigma has just launched the world's first full frame 14mm ultra wide angle lens with an f1.4 aperture. The new Sigma 14mm f1.4 DGDN art lens has been specifically designed for mirrorless full-frame systems and will be available in both Sony E and Leica L mounts. The bright f1.4 aperture and optical enhancements make this lens particularly suitable for capturing the night sky in both stills and video, as well as filming in low light situations. Sony FX6 and FX9 users, for example, can benefit greatly from the extra wide field of view combined with the super fast aperture when capturing night shots. This lens also features a declickable iris ring, which video professionals will appreciate. And it also has a newly designed front cap with built-in filter slots for pre-cut filters, as well as a secure lock mechanism for extra security. Blackmagic Design has just released a new firmware update for the Blackmagic Ursa Broadcast G2. The latest Blackmagic Camera 8.1.2 update is an incremental update which brings support for gamut compression toggle in the record menu, as well as improved Blackmagic Zoom Demand Response Curve. In addition, Blackmagic Design also released a new update for DaVinci Resolve 18.5. The new Beta 4 update adds support for Blackmagic RAW 3.2 and also provides enhanced control over subtitle export, improved system stability when displaying clip handles in the color page, plus notable improvements to the scripting API. And that's all we have for this week. We will be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.